Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here. Today is episode 52 of me testing different day trading strategies to see what is actually profitable. In this video, I will test the Papillon trading system with the best filters and maximum limits to find out its true win rate. The strategy was created by online trading signals and it claims to be really profitable in a five and 15 minute time frame. So I'm gonna backtest this strategy 100 times on the price of the Euro versus the USD with an initial count size of $1,000 and a one to one and a half risk to reward ratio. I will also improve this strategy towards the end of the video. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's build our setup. So the first thing we need to do is come across to our indicators tab and search for our first indicator, which is called the CCI or the Commodity Channel Index. Now let's access its settings and we're going to be changing our CCI from a line to columns and we're also going to take off our middle band and our background there and then we're going to make our upper and lower bands a little more visible okay now let's add our second indicator to the chart and it is called pokey buy and sell by Raphael zioni we're also going to come across and make a few changes to this we're just going to untick everything here this is going to be the main confirmation indicator in this strategy. And finally, we're going to need to add two more indicators to our chart. Those are going to be our exponential moving average and then also our super trend. The inputs on our super trend will stay as default, but in the style section, we are going to remove our buy and sell labels. The length of our EMA will be changed from nine to 50. And we're also gonna come across to the style section here and change it to white. Okay, the setup is finally ready. Now let's understand the trading rules. So for a buy signal to be valid, the following conditions must be met. First, the price action must be positioned above our 50 EMA. Second, the super trend must be colored in green. Third, the pokey indicator must print a new buy signal. And finally, at the time we have our buy signal, the CCI indicator must not be overbought. This means that the column is not exceeding our 100 level. If these conditions are met, a buy order will be placed at the close of our trigger candlestick. The stop loss will be set at our most recent swing low and our take profit will be set at 1.5 times the risk. Okay, here is one more long example. The price action is closed above our 50 EMA. The super trend is also colored in green and the pokey issued a new buy signal. And at the time the signal did occur, the CCI was not overbought. We're gonna be putting our stop loss there just towards that previous swing low. And once again, we are gonna be targeting 1.5 times the risk. The exact opposite is true for sell positions. First, the candlesticks must be closed below our 50 EMA. Second, our super trend must be colored in red. Third, our pokey indicator must issue a new sell signal. And lastly, the CCI indicator must not be oversold. So we're going to be entering a sell position on the close of that trigger candlestick. We will be bringing our stop loss there up towards that previous swing high. And then we are gonna be targeting 1.5 times the risk. I noticed quite a lot of times that the strategy issues a few false signals and this is mainly because we have this pokey indicator on the chart but don't worry I will fix this issue in the second part of the video. Okay now let's move on to the back testing to find out all the metrics behind the strategy, see what sort of win rate we can actually get and what sort of profits we can return. So after 100 tests, the win rate for this strategy turned out to be 55%. This led to an increase in our account size by 105% profit. The equity curve is pretty stable. The maximum drawdown is 11.42%. 
However, the profit factor is below two, which is definitely not ideal. We also had six consecutive wins against six consecutive losses. So overall, it's not too bad for a five minute scalping system. However, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this strategy does need to be improved because of the amount of false signals. Another downside of this strategy is that it includes four different technical indicators. This means that it's simply not suitable for a free trading view plan. So in order to fix this, we need to get rid of all of these indicators except for the CCI. And we're gonna to need to add two more indicators to our chart. So the first one you're going to search for is 10 and one different moving averages. In the input section, let's add one more EMA here. And we're also gonna change the length from one to 50. For our second indicator, let's search for parabolic SAR. All right, now let's understand the trading rules for this strategy. The rules for entering a long trade are as follows. First, our 50 EMA must be positioned above our 200 EMA. Second, the price action needs to be moving above both of our moving averages, and then it needs to pull back into our 50 EMA. The pullback is valid when the price action crosses and closes below our 50 EMA, yet it does not exceed our 200 EMA. Third, the parabolic SAR must shift below our price action, which is a signal to buy. At the time we get our signal, the price action must be closed above our 50 EMA with a strong bullish candlestick. And then finally, our CCI indicator must not be overbought. Our long will be opened on the close of our trigger candlestick, and our stop loss will be set just below our previous swing low. The take profit target will stay at one and a half times the risk. Here is one more long example. So first we're looking at the position of our EMAs. We see that our 50 EMA is above our 200 EMA. The price action was moving above our moving averages and then we did pull back into our 50 EMA. We see that the pullback is valid as we did not exceed our 200 EMA. Then we see the parabolic SAR shifted below our price action. The candlestick is bullish and it also closed above our 50 EMA. So this does meet our requirements and then most importantly, at the time we had our signal, the CCI was not overbought. So once again, placing a long entry on the close of our trigger candlestick, our stop loss is set just below that previous swing low, and once again, targeting one and a half times the risk. Okay, now let's learn the short positions. First, the 50 EMA was positioned below our 200 EMA. Second, we need to have a pullback into our 50 EMA, where the price action crosses and closes above it. And most importantly, during the pullback, the price action must not exceed our 200 moving average. Third, the parabolic SAR shifted above our price action. And at the time that this happens, the market must be closed below our 50 EMA with a strong bearish candlestick. And the final condition is to not have the CCI oversold. So placing a sell position at the close of our trigger candlestick, stop loss there just up above that previous swing high, and once again, targeting 1.5 times the risk. Here is one more example of a short entry. We see that the 50 EMA was positioned below our 200 EMA. The price action made a pullback into our 50 moving average. Then we see the parabolic SAR shift from below our price action to above. The market is also closed below our EMAs and the candlestick is bearish. So the last thing that we are looking for is our CCI to not be oversold and we can safely enter our short position. Placing our stop loss there just above that previous swing high and our profit target will be set at the same. Okay, now you know the trading rules, let's move on to the back testing to see if this strategy is any better. Okay, the back testing is finished and right away we can see that the win rate has increased. So we managed to increase our win rate from 50 something percent 
to 74%. We also managed to increase our account size by 408% in a four month time period. The profit factor is 4.06 and we had 12 consecutive wins against three consecutive losses. The equity curve is also really stable, no serious drawdowns at all. So yeah, we can see that this strategy is much more reliable and consistent compared to the old one. Definitely give it a try. Make sure you back test it and also forward test it with paper money before trading it live. Okay, traders, I hope you did enjoy. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.